The following squid vlog is brought to you by fighttackle.com.au. G'day, I'm Brendan Wing. Welcome to Squid Life. Just a little side project of Youthfish TV. Why? Because squidding is so important to us. It's actually part of our whole fishing life. Everything to do with squid, like all the sorts of fishing we do from Mulloway and Snapper right through to swordfish require us catching squid. But not only is it required, it's essential for fun. Like it's, it's a relaxing sport and I think that I'm gifted or very lucky to be able to live on Western Port, the home of the biggest squid in the world. And hopefully over the next 12 months we get to show you and showcase what's on offer down this way. Today we're back at Tyre Bank. Peter Ferguson again. Snap weather for last week. And we just want to try and uh, nail a few of those bigger ones, you know, because we know they're going to be here. We've just got to work harder. And I'm going to stick with the double RG to start. First up, an experiment. Moving up a bit deeper. What depth are you looking for? Uh, this day's five, four, four and a half. How long? Minute? Yeah, max. Because I'm going to uh, leave us roll and I'm going to cast into your wash. What are you doing with that net? You need to get a squid net, mate. I've got one. Right here. A giant thing. Alright, so I've cast it into the wake like Peter does. He rates it. Good place to catch a squid, he says. I reckon the turbulence just stirs it up. So, welcome back, everyone. We're at Peter Ferguson again. And, uh,. We're going head to head again, and I'm going to run the same double R Sumizoku Harimitsu 3.5 and see if I can extract some bigger models. I'm going to stick with the Yamashita RDRA in a 3.5. Well, we sell them both, mate, so I'm happy. Yeah, you said <laughs> I just don't take it off, it stays on, mate. Long we go for that one. That's the beauty of having a site that's not limited by brands or sponsorship, or even a show for that matter is that we can actually just use what works and just make people aware that they can get it and use exactly what we're using. So into the wash hasn't worked yet, but it's not going to work every time. In a particular more shallow, in that sort of two, two and a half metres, often it does it. It works really well. Oh, geez, that sun's got some, some bite. Oh, hang on. There you go. Live, straight out of that wash. <laughs> Unbelievable. You think about it, if you're sitting down there, Mr. Squid, in a weed, and hear all these and bubbles and everything up top. What's a salmon bust up look like when they smash and bait fish? So he's coming for a pretty hard look because it's been there for about 45 seconds or so. He's swum in, he's found some what he thinks is some bait fish floating around in the wash and gone, thank you. Again, it's these small squid again, Pete. Yeah, that's all right. But we're off to a start. Small squid become big squid in a couple of months. They do, mate. Unless we eat them. Yeah. Well, he's just got him, but he'll be all right. Oh. Whoa. Thank you, you unloaded. Here's a good bait one. Now look at the damage that's copping. That's a pretty, they're one of the hardest wearing jigs, is the Harimitsu. And even, it's no match for the, it's no match for the, uh, the teeth on that little fella, which are in there. Let's have a look at them. Oh, we had a bite. I just had my finger in the mouth of a, in the beak of a squid. You're an idiot. He put, he pulled my finger in with his tentacle and bit it. I right, just got it out in time. What are you doing, buddy? Show us. There it is. Look at you. Calm, cool, calm, killer machine. Look at those weapons, everyone. So we're away. And the double R has now downsized. Oh, come on. Grab it. Oh, come on. Got him. I was getting nothing, Brendan, so I did a fast wind back. Yep. And just bring it back to the boat and stop. You can look behind it with the Polaroids. And, of course, there was a squid following it. Yeah. Free-spooled free it back, took two goes, 
And there's another squid. Ooh, so, on we're uncut at the moment. We're live. Uncut. Ooh, he just got him. Yeah, that's right. Only got to just have He's him. still loaded. He's still got, still got liquid in him. Yep, there you go. A bit of a rip and burn. Oh, look, at, look at the shimmer. He's doing that flashing. All right, so that too was out of the wash, mate. Yep. Shit, grab this for me, Pete. Well, your sleepers on. Oh, Pete, you put it straight on him, mate. That's what I pay him to do, apparently. <laughs> I do pay Peter, everyone. Yeah. I do pay him. You should pay him. I pay him 51% of the fuel bill, apparently. The 1% is a surcharge. Oh, mate, I've only got him by the very tip of one tentacle, so I will. No, I'm going to grab him. It's alright mate, all good. So again, we just loosen a bit of line off so if he wants to go I can hand drag him. Jeez. I can hand drag the sucker. Oh he's not that big but I just got him. Whoa! You son of a gun. You son of a gun. Look at him change white. Stuck, line stuck to me. I can't get it off. There we go. Hey, Brandon, didn't you like that? Oh no! I suppose, he, he that. I suppose that is yours. Well, the, well, the double R's going. There you go, another one. That's is that six or seven squid for being here 20 minutes? Mate, crazy. Oh, Brendan. Another one right there, pulling him up. Whatever I've got in my hand, I'm throwing in. Drop it, drop it. I don't even know what I got. He's going to come and get this in a minute. He's after the double R. And, oh, he dropped it. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, saw it live. It pays to use your eyes and look in that water when you've had a squid. His mate will be there. Oh, tip of the tentacle. Yeah, that's all right. It's only a little one. If I drop him, we drop him now. They're here. They're active, mate. There we go. This one's on too. This is crazy, Pete. Oh, he dropped him. Uh, freeze bullet for me. Open it. Oh, look at that. Free pull it back, and you'll come back. Unbelievable. So we haven't cut yet. We're still live from when we pulled up. So like today we're up off the tyre bank again with Peter Ferguson. Last week you saw us doing a bit of traditional squid fishing and catching a lot of small and mid-sized and a couple of reasonably good calamari. This is what my tackle box looks like. Today we're back to do another experiment. If you remember, last week, Peter was catching a lot of the fish in the rod holder. So, so today, I'm gonna to show you inside my tackle box. This is another one of those all red RRs. That's an actual fight jig. That's a Cephia. Work. That's a ripper jig. Lofty keeps telling him it's the best, one of the best selling jigs he's ever had in his store. So. You got anything in a four? Something big? No, we've got fours coming, mate. We've got 3.8 from Shimano coming in the next couple of weeks. We'll be the only one in Australia with genuine 3.8s, and I cannot wait to test them. Okay, so I don't use those little clips that everyone else, all the, all the squidding we would use. I just tie them on with a blood knot. Um, however. I do believe in using fairly light leader. I know that you don't want to get snagged and lose jigs. So you can't go too light. But 12 pound out in Western Port's what I run. And it, it stems back from the days when I used to fish with Scott McNabb in Port Phillip Bay, Squido McNabb, and he used to kick my butt. And for about a year there, he kept it quiet. He was running a six pound leader. And he was laughing all the time. I could never understand why he was beating me. The day I changed over to six pound leader, I started being very competitive. So I learned a lot from that. So that's going to be my sleeper. I'm just going to put that out the back there. And it, just like last week, we've got no drifting in. It's like identical weather. So I'm going to put that pizza rod there. As you know, that was dominant last week for the bigger fish, or the bigger squid, I should say. I want to see if it was an accident, and I want to see if we can upsize all the squid again. So we're going to, I'm going to run that again. 
Again, 12 pound litre. Fluoro carbon, Brendan? Just 12 pound mono, mate. Okay. Actually, no, you're right. Actually, not by choice or, or by design, I think this is actually fluoro carbon because that's what I had. I use 12 pound fluoro carbon out here. And that's what it does. Nice one, mate. That's a good squid. Bloody oath, mate. I haven't got really light drag on that. That's actually reasonably. Ooh. I just felt a technical view blade then. Did you? Yeah, so I'll back the drag off a little bit more. It's funny, you actually feel it pull through the technical. We're going to have to get you a head cam, Pete, if you're going to be a regular. We're going to have to have a head cam for the guests, I think. That's a good squid, mate. I'm coming in to have a look while my rod's out the back there. Right, see, I've only got him on just one technical. That's where I felt him slip away before. Yeah. That's a good squid. That's a kilo seven. Kilo five, kilo seven. That's yeah. a good squid. Show the world that one, mate, because that is why I say Western Port is the home of giant calamari around the world. So it's just come around in the... St oh, hey. And that's why you don't point them at your cameraman. No, come around in the sun. So he's a he's a 40 centimetre hood squid, that one. Yeah, he's close, 38 or something. You're looking very awkward, so I might I'll just grab him off I'll you. I'll clean this boat up too. Yeah, we, oh, so I'll grab him off you and do a... Yeah, do the next one. It's a bit messy to clean up, mate. What astounds me, Pete, is the rest of the world... If you look at the squid ranges from around the world, I've noticed one thing. Not many of them have red foil or, or a red. Red seems to be a very small percentage of the range. It does, doesn't it? Yet, for Australia, a squid mad nation, especially Ooh. in Melbourne, we know, we know squid, you know, and we know in Western Port, all red jigs, Look. absolute dynamite. You can talk to the pros, the charter boats. Look, the white... Yeah, like the um, the 14T. Yeah, the 14T white uh, Shimano does work well, but it's limited. It's limited time. I still think on that. Really clear, sunny days, it does work well in clear water. I think in Port Phillip, it's obviously a good jig. Okay, watch this right here, the middle one. This one. Yeah, the middle one. Yeah, it's had a hit. We missed one. So, a ago. as you can see, guys, we're not we're not having to do a lot of extreme things here. The fishing's just crazy, and squid in Australia just... And these aren't oceanic, they're not pelagic, they're actually inshore estuary species. And they grow to four and a half kilos. Rumour is even bigger, but you know, we know that they definitely get to four kilos. And anything over two kilos is considered a giant. To put it in perspective, anything over about 45 centimetre hood is big. Anything over 50 is a dream squid. I've caught... So the length of the actual tube... 50 centimetres is like that. So you can imagine it's quite the squid. It's a handful, it's like that round. Well, I turned the bloody camera off. Next second... You thought you were on weed. Literally, literally the next second, after I turned the bloody camera off, I hooked this. And it took me 10 seconds to get the... Uh... Oh, dear. You were ripping at it thinking you were weeded. I actually thought I was snagged, Pete. Go under me. Again. Chase Same thing happened last week. Because you let the jig sink, you let it sit, and you think, oh, it's just gone in the bottom. Oh, dear. Well, for me. Pete, this is pretty good squid. Yeah. Why do you reckon I cast behind you? We were just about to move. Oh, dear. I even did a drag up, and it still took drag. Where are you now? Hey, plenty of line to hand drag him. Now, the quick thing is you've got to get line back quickly. So when he grows, I can give him some. This is where I hey, buddy. Oh, he's got me, and he's really got me hard. <laughs> he's trying to pull my mouth around. Ah, that actually hurts. He's ripping into my skin. And he wants to bite me. Look, that's wide open. Oh, oh he's aggressive. That's wide open. See if we can get it to come out. Oh, he's nearly there. Oh, you psycho animal. That's a good squid. Kilo four, kilo five. Clicks jigs. Lofties. No, that's actually the Haramitsu, the original, genuine. Haramitsu again. There's the model number under the... There's the model number under it right now. Hang on. I'm trying to get bitten here. He's trying to reach around that psycho squid. He's trying to reach around and bite me. Anyway, there's the model number. Quickly. Haramitsu. Have a look at it. Black and silver back, black and blue, green pearl back, red foil. The one I picked for you for a sleeper. You did. Except I was casting it. Yeah. <laughs> so the duck. 
Oh, I'm on. I got news for you. Seriously, holding your own today, mate. The drag's done up, <laughs> Pete. I actually yeah. had the, the drag's. Actually, oh my goodness. This is no baby drag this time. Ooh. Very fast wind back, Brendan. And you had a follower? And I've got myself another squid. Oh. I was winding it in to cast over to you. I wanted to see it. You should have warned me. I would have come and looked at it. Well, this is certainly the biggest squid I've had on the last two weeks. I'm sure of that. Is it? It's not huge, but it's a solid squid. And I watched, I caught him by watching him. Now he swam up to me. Like that. Not bad, old boy. By doing a fast wind, stop, look behind the jig, there he came. Mate, the tie bank is off its head. It's we don't plan to fish every, do every every episode here, but while it's hot, you got to... No, well, Brendan, honestly, the best advice I could give people is don't fish here. <laughs> Seriously, go elsewhere, guys, there's squid everywhere else. Yeah, grab that one for us. There is no squid on the tie hab bank, okay? I would have grabbed that, except I got, know I've got a really big one on it, I don't want to stuff it up. I've got to wind in my slack here now. He's winding in my fish. Now now he's catching his own bag again. Oh. This is over 40 centimetres, this one, mate. <laughs> Made a mess. I missed him on the grab. Peter's uh, really embarrassing the team today. I'm making a mess. <laughs> now this is the RR. This is the Haramitsu RR. On the website. Special shipment. We got him in because of the of the fishing we've been doing with them. We've got a very limited run in. We've got them on the site right now. I'm gonna laugh at this thing's small. It's not, mate. I'll tell you what it isn't. It isn't small. It's not 50, but it's good. Oh, it's decent. You want a net? Nah. You gonna grab him? Oh, look at him. Whoa. Oh, see, I'd net that. Whoa. Too easy to pull the pull the line out, yeah. You know, they'll jig out of my hand there. Oops. I don't care about your little little fella there. I'm on this bugger. It's gonna take all my focus. Oh, look at this beautiful creature. Beautiful creature. Come here, oh, big boy. He's a good squid, isn't he? He's looking at me. He wants to fire at me. That's 40. It's a 41 or something. Wow. Everyone, look at this. There it is. The RR Haramitsu 3.5. Look at the damage it's copping. It's a new a week ago. Wow. Look at that. That is magnificent. Shows the head on him. Wow. Let's get him up. Hello, big boy. Ooh. Look at you. Look at you. Big boy. He's slime. Bait everywhere. Find the bait, find the fish. I thought it was rain. See that rain on the water there, guys? That's not rain. It's bait fish. That's bait. That is... So I'm going to bring my jig, right, right up to this bait fish. See if I can make it spray. Be a squid and I'm going to drop that jig down through the bait. See it? See it? There's got to be a squid under there, you'd think, wouldn't you? I've got three or four by doing the rip and burn. Under the bait. Right at the boat. Oh, there was bait shimmer in there, so I brought the jig right into the boat and just dropped the jig under it. I kid you not. He's not stressed. He's just thinking, eh, I'll go back down, but I'm going to say, no, you're not. I'll push him back up. Right, come here, buddy. Hope you're enjoying Squid Life Log, where squidding is life. Look at that beast. Wow. Thank you, God. That is just epic. 
In you go, buddy. Woo hoo hoo! Yeah, just kind of know the bullshit sounds and the real ones. Yeah, I see I've got weed on this. Immediately, oh, and there's a giant Seth. Where? He's going to hit it anyway. Where? Even though it's got, oh, oh, that's a big sucker. You're mine. No, nah, he's going to eat mine. I got him. You got him. Oh. See that? You try and poach your mate and still don't let you in. Please tell me my light's flashing red. Yes, it is. <laughs> that was epic. That was a big squid. But I had one too then. He just followed you in, did he? Yeah. And I had weed on the jig and everything, mate. He just didn't give a crap. <laughs> he was he was on. This might go yet, mate. The start of this run in. It's been slow, but it has been a slow start to the tide. Look at this beast. That was a good squid. See him all flare out. Oh. I hope that gets on the camera because that's awesome. That vision I just saw there, and that's that's special. You did it again. I know, I know what you're up to, mate. You're hoping I drop it. No, I'm not. He won't. He too many times. He won't come back for another jig. Will he? All right. Look, it's a good squid, but it's not the monster we it looked like when it ate it. Yeah, they're going to get bigger in May, mate. Can you imagine what May's going to be like? Uh, June, July. All right. So grab the line. He's a big 37, 38. Oh, he just got a hit. A squid pulse is only about a metre and a half at the most. So if you've got enough hand drag. To just send it. Yeah, he'd be 38, 39, 38. Look at that. You beast. Now this is the RR. Flare up, big boy. That's it. Ah. Look at you. All right. Yeah. No, no. Nah, put him back. Sword bait. All good, mate. Look at the colours in him. Hey. Go back to Mama. Tell her, winger. Wants to meet her. Look at that. What a beast. Awesome shit. One? I watched him come up and chase it. Oh, it's always this massive white belly. So that's a good one? Look at this. I was winding it in, I just saw this big white flash. So I just paused and dropped the rod tip to let the jig sink. And here's the result. That's a good squid. Oh, you gonna lift it? That no, he's loaded. I'm not touching him. <laughs> he's loaded with ink, mate. He's loaded with water. <laughs> Fight! So, it was probably about there. So this boat's come in here, done the U-turn and come out here. So that's about where his prop wash was. Prop washing for squid, it's a real thing. A real thing. I might paint it. Last week. No, that's probably a bit bigger than yours last week. Mate. No, we got we got a couple of good ones last week. Yeah, not that good. Well, we called them 38 to 40. Yeah. You called them on camera 38 to 40. Yeah. All right. Peter's so bloody competitive, isn't he? If we catch squid, the real winner is you guys at home.